In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to roast press man coverage in Madden 20. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I wanted to do a quick video. I wanted to welcome you to my channel. Before I jump into the video, I wanted to let you know that we're trying to get our Discord up to 100 members. So what I want you to do is there's a link in the description. Click that link. It's going to take you to join our Discord if you haven't already. And the reason I want you to do that is because it's going to keep you up to date with everything that we've got coming out for Madden 21. And also, once we hit 100 members in that, I'm going to be releasing my full offense and defensive eBooks to you in that Discord server. So be sure to be on the lookout for that. But again, if you haven't joined, I really would appreciate it. It mean a lot to me. Go ahead and just join our Discord. You can talk mad with me and with anybody. But I wanted to give you this little route here out of the spread Y flex. This is the play Y stick. I've talked about it a little bit. It's got a really, really good fade route in it built into it. Okay. Fade routes are, and every year this is the same thing in Madden 1918, whatever Madden year. You want to have specific types of routes, route combinations, not plays, route combinations. That is the key. So specific routes, that's why people pick specific playbooks. This play right here is really what took Arizona to the next level. So I want to jump into it. So basically what happens when you're facing, if you're facing cover to man, you can tell, as you can see here, I can tell that he hasn't pressed and he's not man aligned. Because you see here, this guy over the slot, if I press coverage, you see he's going to go down. That's going to give me the cue that he's pressed. So if he does that, I'm going to audible to this play right here, and you'll see Stefan Diggs is going to roast man-to-man -man coverage on the outside. Let me show you this in instant replay. Basically, it's a stock fade. It's you, not, not very many plays have this, but it's a stock fade on the right side. And watch the animation. He's trying to press because you've told him to on the defensive side of the ball, correct? So he's trying to press, and you see how it just kind of beats the, it, he, he gets a it's a, it's what we have called in Madden for years an unbumpable unbumpable route he can't press that route it's going to get that free release and you can outside pass lead that and that's a touchdown against cover two man let me show you this really quickly if they press you which i've talked about this at nauseum if they press you this is a touchdown okay and here's why i'm just going to pass lead up and to the outside and then i'm going to click on and rack catch it and as you can see there i can get it out and again it's 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 partially on your quarterback to get the ball out there and enough room but if i pass lead up and to the outside you see i can click on and it's a touchdown you want to pass lead it a little bit more to the outside so that that safety can't come over but to me that's it's seriously it's a critical critical route because here's what people will do here's what people will do they're going to go to cover zero of some type. Let's just, it doesn't matter what the cover zero is, but they're going to try to make this look the same of all their other defenses. So this is very much so something that you will see. So you'll see something like this. This is a base align press, and then they may do something like this. This is man align press. This is cover zero. So I'm looking at that outside. I see he's pressed up in a different animation than he would be in a cover two. So then I'm going to go to a little blitz beater here. But again, I know at the snap of the ball, He's going to get that outside release. The pressure does come in here really good. But I, I can lob it over the top. Over the top. Now, let's say they do something like this. Let's say they do... Um, let's say they go to uh, some type of cover three. And they man align and press it. Right? You've seen this. I've seen this. We've all seen this. So if they're in some type of cover three and they press, you'll see here... Um, it's a foot race, basically, at that point. And as you can see, he's going to be able to outrun me. So when they bail, when they bail, that's one of the rules. When they bail out on it, you can't throw that. But if they're in any, if they're in a covered, if they're in any kind of man coverage, that's the key. If they're in man coverage, also cover two sync. Let me show you cover two sync real quick. Um, you'll see here he's going to get that outside release. You can kind of sneak that in, but again, I would recommend the, a, a different type of specific route for that. But if they run cover to sync and they man align and press you, also I think it's really smart to run this on the wide side of the field, to the wide side of the field. But as you can see here, you can pass lead it to the right, and you see I can click on and possession that on the sideline. Very similar to the way we'd use the Y cross. Now, if they were to turn that cover to sync that, that uh, soft squat zone on the outside, if they were to turn that into a cloud flat, let me show you kind of what happens. Snap the ball. You see he's got that outside release. That's what we need. And it's a dot. It's a touchdown. 
one play touchdown against cover two if they press. Now, what they're going to do, this is what people will start doing to you. This is what people will start doing to you. They will run cover two stock, no press. Watch the difference. If they don't press, watch what happens. Same thing. Same thing. They can't press you. They cannot press you in this defense or in the, with this specific route. What they can do is they could run some type of cover three, and then they could back off coverage. And what that's going to do is that's how they're going to get you. So now he's in bail technique. He's And you can basically, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. At that point, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Now you can aggressive catch that, and we can, you can try to user catch that, but still not quite what we're looking for. Still not quite what we're looking for. As you can see, if they're in a deep quarter or a deep third, they're going to box you. But if they're in too high, if they're in too high, and you run something like this, you're going to get that free outside release, and then you're going to—it's—it's it's basically between you and that safety. It's between you and that safety. And just like Y cross, what I like about this route a little bit more than I like Y cross is this route gives you a built-in man beater. If they run man on you, you've got them. You've got them. Now, what they'll start doing is they may do something like this. They may come out and cover two, and then they may audible around, right? And they may baseline press you. If they baseline press you, which this is something a lot of people like to do, I myself is included in this, you see you get the same animation. It's probably even a little bit better. Probably even a little bit better. So, Beating the press, this is a, a specific type of route from the Arizona Cardinals playbook. It's the play Y stick. This route, in combination with this route combination on the right side, right? I would take Dalvin Cook, and this is just my experience this year. I would wheel him, or I would block and release him, right? You're going to get the same animation. It's, gonna be, it's all the same, but you need to run that to the wide side of the field. Let me show you what happens really, really quickly um, if you run it to the short side of the field, I just want to show the difference. And this is why it's important to lab on hash marks. This is why it's really, really important to lab on hash marks. So if you run it to the wide side of the field or the short side of the field, watch the, watch the animation you're going to get. You're still going to get that beat the press animation, but the safety is now more in the, he's a little bit more in the ball park of making a play on you. If they man a line and press your cover two um, deal here, you're going to snap go and you see he's going to beat him. He's going to beat him. So it's a it's kind of a route that's very very specific to um, very very specific to this playbook, but it's a very effective. And here, as you see, if he's in soft squat, you see that right there. You're not winning those animations if it's to the short side. That's why I suggest running to the wide side. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Be sure to join Discord. It would seriously mean the world to me if we got that to 100 subscribe or 100 members, and then.